Hey, everyone. Today, we're diving into a debate that probably pops up at every dinner table, grocery aisle, or even a night out. Soda versus sparkling water. They may look similar, they both fizz, they both come in bottles or cans, but when you really break them down, they are worlds apart. So if you've ever wondered what the real differences are, or maybe which one is better for you, stick around. Let's fizz things up a bit, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with soda. The classic carbonated drink that's been a staple of birthdays, movie nights, and every fast food combo you can imagine. Soda is sweet, bubbly, and often comes in a rainbow of flavors. But here's the thing. Most of that sweetness comes from sugar. A regular can of soda has about 39 grams of sugar. That's roughly 10 teaspoons. Just imagine scooping 10 teaspoons of sugar into a glass of water. Yep, that's basically what you're drinking. Sugar isn't the only thing to consider. Soda is also acidic, usually because of phosphoric acid or citric acid. These acids can wear down tooth enamel over time. That's why dentists always recommend rinsing with water after drinking soda. And then there's caffeine. Some sodas pack quite a bit of it. While a moderate caffeine intake can boost alertness, too much caffeine can lead to jitters, anxiety, or even trouble sleeping if you drink it late in the day. Soda also comes in diet versions, which swap sugar for artificial sweeteners. While they reduce calories, the jury is still out on the long-term health effects of consuming these sweeteners regularly. Some studies suggest they can affect gut bacteria or even trigger cravings for more sweet foods. But we'll get back to that later. Now, let's talk sparkling water. At first glance, it looks almost identical to soda. It's bubbly, comes in bottles or cans, and sometimes even comes flavored. But here's the big difference. Sparkling water usually doesn't have sugar, calories, or artificial sweeteners. The bubbles come from carbonation, basically pressurized carbon dioxide dissolved in water. That's it. The health benefits? They're pretty clear. Because sparkling water doesn't have sugar, it won't spike your blood sugar or contribute to weight gain the way soda can. And because it's just water with bubbles, it can help with hydration. That's huge. We often overlook the importance of just staying hydrated, but water, and yes, sparkling water counts, helps with energy, focus, and even digestion. Some studies even suggest that sparkling water can help with feelings of fullness, which might make it easier to manage your appetite. Flavored sparkling water is also becoming super popular. These usually have natural flavors with no added sugars, they're a great alternative if you want a little taste without the sugar crash that comes with soda. But be careful with some brands. Always check the label for added sugars or sweeteners. Even light flavored waters can sneak in extra calories. So, soda versus sparkling water. How do they really compare? Let's break it down. Calories and sugar. Soda is high in both, which can lead to weight gain and other metabolic issues if consumed too often. Sparkling water? Pretty much zero calories and zero sugar. Dental health. Soda's acids can erode enamel over time. Sparkling water is slightly acidic because of the carbonation, but it's nowhere near as harsh on your teeth as soda. Still, if you drink it constantly, a straw might help reduce contact with teeth. Hydration. Soda is not ideal for hydration, partly because of sugar and caffeine. Sparkling water is just as hydrating as regular water. Digestive effects. Some people find sparkling water can cause bloating or gas because of the bubbles. Soda can do that too, but with sugar and sometimes caffeine, it can be even more uncomfortable. Additives. Soda has preservatives, artificial flavors, and sometimes colorants. Sparkling water is usually just water and carbonation, though flavored varieties might have natural extracts. Here's an interesting twist. Taste. 
Soda has this instant gratification factor. Sweet, fizzy, sometimes caffeinated, basically it hits all the reward buttons in your brain. Sparkling water, on the other hand, is more subtle. If you're used to sweet drinks, it might feel a little boring at first. But the more you drink it, the more refreshing it feels. And the fact that it doesn't leave a sugar crash afterward? Total bonus. Psychologically, soda is tied to nostalgia and social habits. Think about all those childhood memories. Birthday parties with cola. Movie nights with root beer. Even just a quick sip from the vending machine. Sparkling water hasn't quite reached that cultural milestone yet, but it's catching up fast, especially among adults looking for healthier alternatives without giving up the fizz. Now, just because sparkling water is healthier doesn't mean it's boring. Brands today offer so many flavors, lime, berry, cucumber, even watermelon. Some are lightly sweetened with natural fruit extracts, giving you a hint of taste without any sugar overload. It's actually kind of fun to experiment with different flavors, mix it with fresh fruit, or even use it as a mixer in cocktails. On the other hand, soda still dominates flavor variety. Cola, root beer, orange, grape, cherry, the options are endless. But most of these come with sugar, so the health trade-off is real. If you love soda's taste but want to cut back on sugar, there are sugar-free sodas. But as I mentioned earlier, the long-term effects of artificial sweeteners are still a little uncertain. So soda versus sparkling water, what's the verdict? Honestly, it depends on what you're looking for. Soda gives instant gratification, nostalgia, and variety in taste, but it comes with sugar, calories, and health risks. Sparkling water offers hydration, zero sugar, and fewer health risks, but you might need a little time to get used to its subtle flavor if you're coming from a lifetime of sweet drinks. For most people looking to improve their health without giving up fizz, sparkling water is the winner. It's refreshing, versatile, and a smart choice for hydration. But hey, life is all about balance. An occasional soda won't hurt, as long as it's not every day. At the end of the day, it's about making choices that work for you and your lifestyle. And whether you sip soda or sparkling water, just make sure you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.